Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So this is example of power series. So this is a standard power series we have summation C n x raised to n. They have given its radius of convergence is capital R. And with the help of this information, we have to find radius of convergence of this second power series. So let us start with a given information. So let me mention we have R is radius of convergence of this power series. Okay, so what is that power series summation n running from 0 to infinity C n x raised to n. So we are familiar with the formula of radius of convergence. So that formula I'm going to use. Therefore, R is equal to 1 by alpha formula is 1 by alpha where alpha can be calculated in this way limit n tends to infinity mod c n plus 1 upon c n. So actually we have two different formulas of alpha and giving the same value. So this formula of alpha I am using here right. So what we do we find the limit of this uh, ratio and it is alpha and reciprocal of this alpha is nothing but our radius of convergence okay. So the same procedure or the same formula we will follow to find radius of convergence of this power series. So let us start with that. So now we have, now we have, so what is the power series? We have summation n running from 0 to infinity minus 1 raised to n upon n square. Actually n should be vary from 1 to infinity otherwise the denominator will be 0 huh? here also 1 to infinity uh, c n x raised to n right. So this is a power series we have. So what is coefficient? What is its coefficient? Coefficient means multiple of x raised to n. So here the coefficient is I am denoting it by n which is minus 1 raised to n upon n square c n. So this is its coefficient. Okay. So the same formula I am going to use at a place of c n plus 1 c n we have a n and n plus 1. So let us find a n plus 1 that is also required. So therefore a n plus 1 it can be easily obtained just by replacing n by n plus 1 everywhere minus 1 raised to n plus 1 here also n plus 1 square and c n plus 1. So same type of alpha I will calculate for this power series okay. Then, uh, then let us call it as alpha 1 okay having a same definition limit n to infinity mod. See now the coefficients are a n plus 1 and a n so a n plus 1 upon n. So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity. I am going to put the values a n plus 1 is this one minus 1 raised to n plus 1 right upon n plus 1 square c n plus 1 divided by n is minus 1 raised to n n square c n. Okay, so this thing we have. So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity. See, if there is any mod, no need to worry about minus 1 raised to any power. Because of this mod, its value definitely 1. So that minus 1 raised to n plus 1 will be converted into 1 by applying mod. And the same thing will happen here. So that means we need to take care of that c n plus 1, c n, n square and n plus 1 square. But here n square is in denominator of denominator. So it will go to the numerator and we will have n square upon n plus 1 square and see there is no need of mod because square we have and n is also natural number but see for this c n plus 1 and c n I need to apply mod upon c n okay. So by solving it I got just this one only. So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity. Now what will I do I am going to divide numerator and denominator by n square. So n square by n square here n plus 1 by n bracket square. So common square I have written c n plus 1 upon c n. So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity n square n square will get cancelled 1. Here if I divide separately 1 plus 1 by n square mod 
cn plus 1 upon cn okay so the space is not enough so make a screenshot of it first then i will go further see if i apply the limit let us see huh, what will you get if i apply the limit so n 1 by n that means here i am applying the limit n tends to infinity 1 upon infinity is 0 so 1 upon 1 plus 0 that means simply 1 so value of this term is simply 1 so that therefore i can write limit n tends to infinity mod c n plus 1 upon c n since the value of this term is 1 by applying the limit right but see this is nothing but our alpha just before few minutes we had written alpha here so this is nothing but alpha alpha right and see uh, so our alpha 1 is equal to alpha this thing we have got then then radius of convergence radius of convergence of that series summation n running from 1 to infinity minus 1 raised to n upon n square c n x raised to n is is see actually the radius of convergence is nothing but reciprocal of this alpha 1 the reciprocal of alpha 1 which is equal to see alpha 1 is nothing but alpha so 1 by alpha but we know that 1 by alpha is nothing but r this radius of convergence okay so at the beginning of this problem we have already clearly mentioned r radius of convergence which is 1 by alpha so that's why 1 by alpha is equal to r right so therefore the radius of convergence of this power series is also r so this is so much important thing we have got make a screenshot of it then we will go for the second example since second example also we have a same information that is r is the radius of convergence of that standard power series and with the help of this information we have to find radius of convergence of this power series let us write the given information again we have r is radius of convergence of that power series summation n running from 0 to infinity cn x raised to n okay so we are familiar with a formula of radius of convergence so which is r is equal to 1 by alpha where alpha is equal to so actually alpha has two different formulas right uh, see in last example we had used different formula but now here i am using this formula limit n tends to infinity supremum of mod cn is to 1 by n okay so this formula i am going to use here right so this is a so much important thing we have got so let us talk about this given power series so we have what is a power series we have summation n running from 0 to infinity c n square x raised to n actually the same formula or the same method i am going to use to find its radius of convergence to find radius of convergence we need to calculate alpha first and by taking its reciprocal we get a radius of convergence right so let us find such alpha then i am calling it as alpha 1 but the definition is same so limit n tends to infinity supremum of mod cn that means actually the coefficient here multiple of x raised to n which is cn square raised to 1 by right so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity supremum of mod cn raised to 1 by n raised to 2 getting actually by rules of indices we could easily interchange those powers right since they are having a same meaning so we have some space let us use okay so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity supremum of mod cn raised to 1 by n square the same thing we can express in that way also okay so you can take limit inside this bracket but see this value we have seen somewhere its value is alpha so let us put it here so this is equal to alpha and square is there so alpha square right so what is value of alpha 1 alpha square we know that we get a radius of convergence by taking reciprocal of this alpha 1 so let us find then radius of convergence of that power series summation n running from 0 to infinity c n square x raised to n is 1 by alpha 1 if you take its reciprocal we get a radius of convergence 
which is equal to alpha 1 is nothing but alpha square, right? So the same thing we can write in this way, 1 by alpha whole square having a same meaning. But 1 by alpha, 1 by alpha, 1 by alpha, it's nothing but r. 1 by alpha is nothing but r. So this is r square. So therefore, radius of convergence of this power series is r square. So this is so much important thing we have got. So make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you.